Hey seventh graders, today's assignment is the build a dog activity. Obviously, if you guys are watching this, you guys are working from home today. Um, however, we will be doing this a little bit differently in class. So your assignment today is the build a dog activity and your learning targets today, I can use a code, determine, code to determine the traits of a dog and I can begin to identify phenotypes. Tomorrow we're really gonna dig into what a phenotype is and then we're also gonna look at what a genotype is. Um, but today you guys are just start to be able to identify some phenotypes, which are just different variations we see for traits. So if we're looking at eye color, we might see a brown phenotype or a blue phenotype, green, hazel phenotypes, whatever the case is. So it's physical traits that we can observe. So you guys are going to start looking at physical traits of dogs and how we use a little code, not quite DNA or proteins, but how we use a little code to determine what those traits are going to be. Okay, first thing that you guys are going to do in this video is add your notes to your notebook. So you guys should be going into your 7th Life Science OneNotes. You guys should have already established a new section for this new unit, Traits and Reproduction. And you guys should have added these pages, okay? Notice that we're working out of the genetics page today. So go ahead and copy and paste this set of notes into your guys' genetics page. I just wanna go through these really quick with you guys and then your instructions will actually be on a little bit different video, okay? So this is genetics, this is kind of the basis. Um, with genetics, okay, we obviously call this unit traits and reproduction, but genetics is really the essence of this unit. Okay, genetics is the study of genes and how those are passed down from parent to offspring throughout different generations. So we call that heredity. So the study of genes and heredity, which is how traits are passed down from parents to offspring. Okay, the main law, there's three laws of genetics that we're gonna, we're only gonna talk about really two of them. Okay, the first one is law of dominance and we'll get into this a little bit more when we start doing Punnett squares. But what we see is with certain traits, if a parent passes down a dominant trait to their child, that's what we're gonna see in that child. So we've talked a couple times in class about, you know, maybe you guys have two brown eyed parents. That's a dominant trait, but that doesn't mean they can't pass down what we call a recessive trait. Okay, so most of the kids probably going to be dominant, but we might see some blue eyed kids. Okay, depending on what the parents are. So if a parent passed down a dominant trait, the offspring will show that trait no matter what the other parent passes down. So if one parent passes down the gene for brown eyes, okay, brown is dominant over blue generally. So we're probably going to see that kid having blue eye, or brown eyes, excuse me, that dominant trait. So mother passes down the widow's peak, which is dominant. Dad passes down a trait for no widow's peak but the kid then is gonna have the widow's peak because that dominant trait shows up over the recessive. Okay, the other one that we're gonna look at is law of segregation, meaning that, and this is where you guys see so much variation between the parents, you're not just an equal blend of your parents, okay, and you're not identical to your siblings, and this is why, because you guys have this little law of segregation. Each parent passes down 23 chromosomes, so we know by now that in our cells, each of our little cells in our body, like if we were to take a skin cell, or a muscle cell, and look at the nucleus and count how many chromosomes we have, we have 46, okay? We have two sets of 23, which all equal 26. We get 23 from mom, and we get 23 from dad, okay? Keep in mind that your parents also have 46 in their cells, so when they're making their sex cells, their sperm or their egg, they get to choose, they don't get to choose, but their body chooses for them which 23 chromosomes they're, they're passing down in either that sperm or egg. And that's why you guys are so different is because it's not the same every time, okay? It varies a lot. So you guys might have siblings that don't look anything like you, but they're your full-blooded full siblings. And that's because of this law of segregation is when your parents are passing down their 23 chromosomes, they vary. And we never know really what they're passing down. Okay, and then when fertilization occurs, those 23 chromosomes from mom and 23 chromosomes from dad come together to give you a little, you guys start off of one little single cell. So that one little single cell has 46, okay? Mom has 46 chromosomes, she makes eggs that only have 23. Dad has 46, he makes sperm that have only 23 chromosomes. And when those egg and the sperm come together in fertilization, then now the kid starts off as one little cell in the womb with 46 chromosomes, okay? So that explains again why you and your siblings are so different, okay? So those are your guys' notes for today. To complete this activity, you guys will go on to slide three and you guys need to watch this video for your instructions. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon, bye.